welcome to our first annual Suburb Olympics. Here are some of our contestants ready to get this one started. We are excited to be here and see who will be able to achieve a gold medal in this Olympics. Starting off with N-word restraint, we have Leela Menigo from the Canadian suburbs, one of the top suburbans looking to get the gold today. I'm looking forward to how he handles this one. May I help you? Um, yeah, I'm just looking for my, uh, you know, my box, but I think that is mine right here. Mm -hmm. They delivered to the wrong address. Take it up with USPS. Get off my property. No, nah, I'm saying that that's literally my box. To say my yeah, and you're trespassing. Get off my property. Take it up with USPS, like I said. Bro, it's literally not that serious. Let me just get the box, bro. No. Man. <laughs> bro, you doing What's with it with you people? Ooh, oh, and I'm not sure about that There's one. There's just no talking to you. To, to what? It's no talking to what? And here it is, the big moment. Urban people. Oh, all right, okay. Man, I'm about to go. Hey! No, no, watch out, watch out, watch out, bro. And there it is, the famous N-word. He's definitely not gonna be taking home the gold with that one. He's gonna have to rethink his strategy next time. Canada is definitely not happy with this one, considering they were considered a favorite in this round. Next up, we have Desmond Johnson from USA Suburbs. Now, we know that the USA Suburbs is some of the most racist suburbs across the world. Will he be able to take home the gold in N-word restraint? He does not look like a strong candidate. No, oh, no, you get your goddamn out of here. And there it is, not even five seconds. The Americans are ruthless as usual. Racism is running amok out there. They definitely are gonna have to find a better way to hold that racism in. It is getting blatant. Right off the bat, Desmond Johnson is eliminated. But I can't say we expected much from him. And now we have Mark Phillips from the Sweden suburbs. Not too many people know a lot about the Swedish suburbs. They are a sleeper, but we're gonna find out today how good they are at refraining from racism. What are you doing? Oh, what's up? Mm -hmm. uh, it seemed like the mailman uh, mm -hmm. brought my package on accident. You know, okay, I live okay. next door. Well, you're trespassing, and I don't know if you know, but that is a federal crime. I just want you to know that. I understand that, and I apologize. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to get my package, mm -hmm. and I'm going to be gone. Um, no, I'll return that to sender, and you can get it from USPS uh, next time. So why, just why would I let you return get it? Get off of my right property here. right now. I'm, not, I'm man, telling I'm you really nice. That, no, you my are going to do all that. I'm going to let you know, right? Demetrius, listen. Nigga, my name ain't fucking Demetrius. What are you talking about? He's looking like he can fold right here. I thought I thought it was Demetrius. Why would you think my name was Demetrius? Whole time, I, 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 you know. Man, you must have no, whoa, whoa, whoa! Hey, hey, hey! Look, I just want to let you know. I want to let so you know. So, you finna call the cops? No, they're already called, buddy. I was just gonna call them again. No, a twist. He sticks the landing. I call before I open the door. But uh, I just want to let you know, I am the neighborhood watch captain because I don't think you know who I am. Man, you want some bullshit, bro? I'm finna go. Bro. Oh, okay, okay. No, just go ahead. Carry on. I will, nigga. What are you about? Uh, oh, okay. Mm -hmm. And this is gonna be the point right here. And okay. Amazing. Truly a stellar performance from Mark Phillips. Nothing less Black expected from the Swedish courts. people. We don't hear Very too much about racism color. in that country. And they are proving it Thank here you. today. Mark Phillips has our first gold hey, in the Suburb down. Olympics. Let's get to the next round. And with this event, we have racist dressing. And we love it. They are giving it their all right off the back, starting with Lila Menigo with the fit, looking racist as ever. The glasses are a nice touch with the American flag on his hat. And he turns around. The Blue Lives Matter flag, really big, printed on the back. Lila Menigo is definitely doing his job here in the suburbs of Canada. He is definitely a racist. And that's going to be hard to follow, but we have Benjamin Skinner. And right off the back, a blazing performance to start. With the American flag across the shoulders, on the shirt. I don't know if we've seen this before, ladies and gentlemen. With a bland rest of a fit, he knows what he's doing. Wait, the glasses. This man is racist. This man is racist. He's definitely in the lead at the moment. All we have left is Desmond Johnson. I'm not sure how he's going to follow that performance. Ladies and gentlemen, Benjamin Skinner has done something that many people cannot do. And Desmond Johnson comes out. He looks pretty basic. I'm not too sure why he would put on this fit. This makes his suburbs look not racist, and that's not a good look at all. He turns around, and we see he is, in fact, a racist. United we rise. Wow. That is Desmond Johnson. Always a twist. Always something to keep the crowd in awe. But I'm going to have to give it to Ben. Let's go in slow motion. So right off the back, we see Ben with the hat. And you see that, and you already know he could be racist, but you're not completely sure. Your eyes scroll down just a little bit, and you see he has a cutoff shirt on, and you know he probably has a racist stylist helping him put these clothes together. And that is what you need, ladies and gentlemen, to bring home the gold. Benjamin Skinner has done it. He has brought home the first gold in racist dressing. Man, what the fuck is up, nigga? You know what I'm on? And now in the Suburb Olympics, we have men's acting like they're from the hood with Mark Phillips. He has been performing pretty well throughout these Olympics. Let's see what he has. Yeah, nigga, what's up, nigga? What's up then? Hold on. Man, what's 
What's up, this nigga? What's swing, up, brother. Swing up, first, it? nigga. What's up? Man, this nigga too little for me. Get him, little Mark. And this is where he has to truly show us an Olympic performance. He has been put on the spot, something that nobody expected. Let's see how he handles this. Who the fuck you gonna slap, nigga? What's up then? What's up? Yeah. Uh huh. What's up? What's up? Slap me then. Slap me. Slap me. Slap me, bitch. Yeah. Oh yeah. That's what I thought, nigga. That's what I thought, nigga. He's really selling this performance. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay then, nigga. Shit. You know what? Don't get. What's up? What? What's up? Don't get greedy. He has to close out. All right, then, nigga, y'all better head on somewhere, nigga. All right. Better head on somewhere. And he does. He good, nigga. They, they ain't even on shit. They ain't even on shit, nigga. They not know nothing. Yeah. And ladies and gentlemen, we truly have just witnessed a gold performance. Mark has done it again. Truly outstanding. The way he pulled up his pants and got close to the ops really was a selling point for me. He could have been hit or even worse. And to come back at the end and confirm with Desmond like he really did something is truly the cherry on top. I'm telling you, Rob, this is next level. It is. It is, John. He's definitely earned his gold medal today. Man, what the fuck is up, nigga? You know what I'm on. Yeah. We have Jonathan Newton in men's acting like they're from the hood. Jonathan Newton could also be one of the sleepers. Let's see how this one plays out for the Poland Olympians. Yeah, nigga, what's up? Nigga, what's up, bro? Swing what's first, up, bitch. What's up? Man, what's up? Man, nigga, too little for me. Get this nigga little. What's up? What's up? Man, what's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? And he came too close. He slapped, running full speed in the opposite direction. His bluff was called, and he's in the win. And next up, we have Olympic police calling. Our first contestant, Jonathan Newton, is getting ready to see how fast he can call the cops on some very, very innocent black people. And a big thank you to our volunteers. Y'all ain't know I'm finna drop 10 points. 10, bro, you got me. Yes, bro, up, cause bro. I be carrying y'all every time, bro. Nothing. What? What's uh, up? No, I saw you bouncing the ball, but I mean, we don't have a park here, so I'm just trying to figure out what's going on. What? Yeah. There's a bro, court down the street, yeah, bro. Yeah, what you mean? We're walking to it. Oh, uh, I mean, well, curfew's coming up, so y'all might as well just head back. I know you don't have cars or nothing, curfew? so. Curfew? You don't have cars? Ain't no fucking curfew. You got to go on with that what, shit. Fuck it. Okay, well, that's fine. That's fine. I've already called the cops, so it don't even matter what you're saying right now. Y'all might as well stay right there, and don't let me try nothing, because it's recorded right here. Oh, no, I'm just saying. Uh, bro, man, uh, we got to nowhere, bro. It don't matter. I'm just saying. The cops coming, so, I mean. And a solid performance from the suburban man. He handled that really well. Called the cops before he came out, and I cannot be mad at him. I'm not sure if that can be easily topped. Everything he did, he hit directly on the nail. Amazing performance from Jonathan Newton. And a big thank you to our volunteers. Y'all boys already know what I'm finna do. What? Carry y'all. But you ain't never carry y'all. I'm not sure where our next contestant is. That's what I'm saying, for real. Oh, hold it, hold it, guys. Hold it. Hey, what's up? It's been a report this guy's a disturbing the peace. No, we're not just saying that. That you may or may not have weapons on you? No, we have no weapons. What you guys doing today? What you guys doing today? What's, What's going on? Oh my God! Oh my God! He didn't even come outside. A true Olympian, Dylan Patel from the Indian suburbs, has outdone himself in the 2022 suburban Olympics. This may be the best gold medal performance we've seen this year. To still be so innovative after so many suburban people is honestly just genius. Ladies and gentlemen, we present to you Dylan Patel, and that ends our suburban Olympics. Oh my God, Ron! I I seen it. I seen it. Uh, truly amazing. Oh, I'm, I'm at a loss for words. Standing ovation. Standing ovation. Wow. Wow. And a one, a two, a one, two, three, four. You're the little cousin. You better not fucking forget. Hey, hey stop playing hey, with me. Guys. Stop playing with me. Stop playing with me. Hey, you, you, hey, you get big, but hey, 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 hey big kid, him lean. Remember, remember where it started? Yeah, yeah. Uh, get him lean. Remember where it started? Bro, he got in the car. I said, I said, damn, Lila. Hey, you gotta keep him in check. Keep him in check. He didn't know what he was talking about. You know, you know. Let that boy get. And that concludes our suburb Olympics. Make sure to follow these sites to keep in touch with RDC World.